Welcome to week 12 of dollar cost averaging $10,000 in the bear market. Before we get started, I would appreciate it if you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, and let's jump straight into the video. As you guys know, I'm taking $10,000, dividing it by 52 weeks, and every single week I am DCAing and I am buying some crypto. Also, I'm documenting the entire journey in our spreadsheet. That way, when the bull market returns and everything starts skyrocketing once again, we will have some decent positions that will hopefully make us a ton of money. The name of the game is DCA buy and hold and now let's go over to the spreadsheet so i can show you the projects that we have bought so far and the project that i'm buying today let's go so now we are inside of the spreadsheet as you can see we started out with ten thousand dollars every single week we are buying crypto and now we have seven thousand eight hundred and eighty two dollars to buy some crypto that pretty much gives us a weekly budget of one hundred and ninety two dollars these are the projects that we have purchased so far we got some Matic, we got some Pendo, Cardano, Hello, Flash Stake, Polkadot, and CeeLo Finance. And these are the amount of tokens that we have for each project. And below, you will see every single week the project that we bought and what price and how much money we have invested. And as you can see right now, we are on week 12. And in today's video, we'll be purchasing some more flash stake if you guys have been following the journey you will know that we initially bought some flash stake on week seven and we paid just over eight cents we invested a total of 198 dollars and 94 cents but unfortunately the price that we'll be paying for flash stake today is almost four times higher than our initial purchase which is definitely good and bad obviously it is good because we made a decent amount of money so far bad because we'll be buying at a way higher price than our initial purchase but my plan is to provide liquidity on uniswap and that is what i'll be doing so i will earn even more flash stake tokens in the future but now let's buy some flash stake as you can see the price of flash stake is just under 40 cents it is up 30 percent on the day so since we initially purchased some flash stake it has been pumping up big time my only mistake was not buying even more if i invested a thousand dollars that one thousand dollars would have been four thousand dollars right now if i invested 10 it would be forty thousand dollars right now and now let's quickly purchase some more flash stake what i like to do is go into my trust wallet press uniswap on the exchange that way i'm 100 safe that way i'm not clicking on the wrong link and losing all my money once we are on uniswap i have selected usdt and i will be using it to purchase some flash i will put in the full amount of 192 dollars and that will give us 483 flash stake tokens initially 192 dollars got us over 2200 flash stake tokens but in my opinion it is still a decent buy simply because the flash stake market cap is still very very low and i can easily see flash stake doing a 10x a 100x and possibly even more so i feel very comfortable buying even at these prices as you can see the order did go through and now we have 2748 flash stake tokens and the current value is $1093. Now we are back inside of the spreadsheet. As you can see on week 12, I purchased some flash at 39 cents. It cost me a total of $199.29. That is with the gas fees as well. Now our flash stake position went from 2265 to 2000 748.65 flash stake tokens so slowly all of our positions are growing one thing that i do want to mention it seems that the low market cap gems that i have been purchasing are definitely outperforming the large market cap coins so for example polygon matic cardano Polkadot, they're pretty much at the same level that we bought since the beginning of this challenge in January. But the low cap gems such as Pendo, Hello, Flash Stake, and CeeLo Finance are definitely outperforming the large cap coins. Obviously, these low cap gems are way more riskier, but they have the potential to provide us with massive, massive returns. I'm talking about 100x or more the large cap projects are way safer but the growth is going to be much much slower since they are already huge and since they are already well known 
but personally I feel having a mix of both some large cap coins, some mid cap and some low cap gems will give us the best results in the long term. Obviously guys, Flash Stake has done like a 3x, 4x and I could have sold right now and taken out some profits. But my plan is to simply buy, 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 hold, hold, hold for an entire year or more. That way we capitalize on the biggest profits. Obviously some of these projects can go to zero or they can 100x. Only time will tell what will happen. But personally, I'm willing to take the risk. I'm willing to hold in order to get the most profits. Also, I am like two, three days behind on this challenge. So I will be releasing a poll right when this video drops asking you guys what project I should invest in next. If you are watching this video, the poll is live. So make sure you let me know your thoughts. One final thing I want to mention before I end this video, all the flash day tokens that I have purchased so far, I will be using them in order to provide liquidity on Uniswap. So if that is something you want to explore, watch the next video. That video will probably go up in the next day or two. So what I am doing with all the tokens and projects that I'm investing in in this challenge, if I can stake them, I'm definitely staking to earn more. If I can provide liquidity, best believe I will be providing liquidity. And if there's another DeFi opportunity, I will be taking advantage of it. I don't simply want to buy these projects and let them sit and hope they go up and I make a ton of money. I want to put them to work so I can earn even more. I want to maximize the profits that I can make with these projects. So stay tuned for that video. All right, everybody, that concludes this quick video. I would appreciate it if you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Obviously, none of this is financial advice, so make sure to do your own research. And most importantly, see you in the next video. Peace out.